Alexander Usyk defeats Chaz Witherspoon in his heavyweight debut. But I want to talk about how he fares against the rest of the heavyweight division, the top heavyweights in particular. Welcome to Welcome to Like Boxing. Blessed love and blessed night. Oh, boxing world. Boxing nation, fighting world, fighting nation. It's Coach Fighting. This is Real Life Boxing. Alexander Usyk defeats Chaz Witherspoon in his heavyweight debut. But I want to talk about how he fares against the rest of the heavyweights, the top heavyweights in particular. Hey, before we get into it, I'm going to ask you guys to smash on the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded. And you can be notified when we are going live here at Real Life Boxing. Now let's get into it. Alexander Usyk defeated Chaz Witherspoon, which I think we all expected him to do that you know what i'm saying i don't think anybody thought he was gonna lose to chaz witherspoon um especially with chaz witherspoon being a, a late replacement due to the former challenger sponge um not not passing his drug test and then passing the drug test and then there's a big mess with that situation but anyway um alexander Usyk and how he fares against the rest of the heavyweights he's been calling out deontay wilder um, he said that Wilder was his easiest, would be his easiest opponent and Tyson Fury his hardest, which I think he was really joking when he said that Wilder was would be um, his easiest test, you know what I'm saying, with the heavyweight. I think that he just did that for, um, you know what I mean, just, to, just, just for hype. I don't think that he actually uh, meant that. Now, um, my personal thoughts on the situation, I think that Alexander Usyk, um, obviously, he has the skills to be able to compete with any of the top heavyweights. I think that he has the skills to make any of those fights interesting. Um, speaking of Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Andrew Ruiz. Um, I actually think him and Andrew Ruiz is probably the best like action fight out of all of those fights. Maybe him and Andrew Ruiz. Um, they're closer to each other in size. Um, they both punch a lot, you know what I mean? They both got quick hands. Um, Usyk is a southpaw, so I think that fight would just be really interesting. Um, whether or not he can take Andy Ruiz's punch is a different story. And I think that's the main factor with all of the heavyweights and Alexander Usyk. I believe that he has the skills to be able to compete with them and make the fights competitive, but does he have the chin to be able to take the punches? Um, he says he's, he's, he looks up to Evander Holyfield and he wants to do what Evander Holyfield did. Well, Evander Holyfield has a legendary chin. And that's one thing that we didn't get to see tested last night with Chaz Witherspoon was um, Alexander's um, chin and how he would react to punches. Now, he did get caught, I think, in the first round. Chaz Witherspoon did hit him with a right hand and he didn't like it. Um, he backed up and either, even Chaz Witherspoon spoke about that in his... Um, in his post-fight interview, he said, yeah, I hit him with the right hand, but then I made a mistake because I kept um, loading up. So um, I think that was visible, that he didn't like that right hand that he got hit with by Chaz Witherspoon. But um, like I said, I feel like he can give, he has the skills to be able to compete with all the top heavyweights and give them a good fight. Whether or not he can take the punches from any of them um, is a whole different story. You know what I mean? I think that him and Tyson Fury can be an interesting match um, given both of their styles. And I think it's interesting with him being be a southpaw also because he likes to move around and Tyson Fury likes to move around. Um, I think that would be a good competitive fight. Um, you know, a lot of boxing skill, a lot of, you know what I mean, boxing, boxing skill showed off in that fight. So I think that would be a good fight. I think that um, Anthony, Ant, um, Anthony Joshua... Um, like I said, Usyk to me has the has the skill to be able to compete with any of them. But whether or not he can take any of their punches, I mean, Anthony Joshua is a hard puncher. Um, likewise, is Deontay Wilder. Um, I honestly think he has the toughest time with with Deontay Wilder. Given that, in you know, a lot of people will say that you know he'll wipe out Deontay Wilder, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna get more into. I'm not gonna get in get in deep into um, detail in this video. I want to keep this video nice and short, but I will be doing some more detailed videos on this matter. But um, I think that Deontay Wilder covers a lot of space. 
you know what I mean? Even though a lot of you know people say he's flat-footed, he still covers a lot of space. He can move. He's athletic. Um, he does fairly well against Southpaws, Luis Ortiz. He'll have the reach on Alexander Usyk. Um, like I said, yeah, Alexander Usyk has a lot of skills and he can move around. But will he able to get past? Will he able? Will he be able to get past um, the right hand of Deontay Wilder in Deontay Wilder's left hook? Um, you know, it's it's it's. Like I said, I think that Usyk has the skills to be able to compete with any of these guys and make it an interesting fight. Whether or not he can take their punches, I think that's what it mainly comes down to. Because, um, you know, we can't just be acting like he's not going to get hit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, you know, with Deontay Wilder is, can he outbox Deontay Wilder for 12 rounds without getting hit by those punches you know what i'm saying and then when he does get hit by those punches how does he take it and i feel like the same thing with him and the rest of those fighters you know what i mean tyson fury got some pop like can he even take the power of tyson fury um you know like i said he's got the skill to compete with all of these guys whether or not he can take what they have to give um remains to be seen and i think that's the the main story i think that's the main um the main point of this whole argument you know what I mean? Alexander Usyk, definitely skilled fighter, plus he's southpaw. Um, good footwork, those punches and bunches, good hand speed. You know, definitely a good fighter, definitely has the skill. But like I said, can he take what the rest of those guys have to offer is um is what remains to be seen. I want you guys to tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Until then, keep fighting your fight and protect yourself at all times. Peace and one love. So if you like this video and you would like to see more great content like this on the channel, go to the PayPal link or the Cash App link in the description and show your appreciation by donating any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. This is Real Life Boxing.